Muy buenas a todos, bienvenidos a un capítulo más de Dragon Age 2 Pediros mil disculpas puesto que estas navidades he estado bastante, bastante ausente eh, Bueno, he tenido graves problemas con el PC, ¿vale? Seguramente me escucharéis diferente a lo que vais a escuchar en este vídeo Puesto que esto lo estoy grabando después de haber grabado el capítulo que vais a ver Os cuento, eh, he tenido problemas eh, porque ya os digo, esta voz va a parte del vídeo, ¿vale? El vídeo, los primeros 20 minutos eh, no se me va a escuchar a mí, solamente se va a escuchar el, lo que es el juego No sé muy bien por qué, no lo entiendo Y a mitad del vídeo más o menos, eh, a partir del minuto 30 más o menos, de repente va a volver mi voz Lo escucharéis diferente a lo que me estáis escuchando ahora Puesto que, bueno, he tenido que cambiar la tarjeta de sonido, he cambiado los cascos y tal Y bueno, eh, nada, eso, que he tenido graves problemas Y nada, disculparme, lo siento muchísimo en el alma por haber estado tan ausente en cuanto a subir vídeos, ya os digo, he tenido problemas con el ordenador, aparte me tengo ahora en la vuelta de la esquina después de Navidad de los exámenes finales, ya sabéis que la familia con los en estas fechas y tal. Y nada, simplemente eso, que lamento mucho no, que no tengáis audio en este vídeo, solamente en los, en los momentos finales del mismo, y nada, espero que os guste este capítulo. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? I'm not doing this for the money. Very well. Champion of Kirkwall, your reputation precedes you. Forgive me, I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lamos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Rariel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there.
Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall. I took this fire gland from a high dragon just outside the city. You killed a high dragon? Incredible. Let me see the fire gland. It was either her life or mine. I chose mine. And that I am glad to hear. This fire gland is a remarkable specimen. Wait here. I know exactly what I can craft from this. This turned out beautifully. Something worthy of our champion. I hope you can put it to good use. behind you. I still can't believe Hawk saved you. You've been saying that for years. Would you have turned me over to the Canari? No, but I know what they do to their prisoners. Execute them horribly, I imagine. The Canari waste nothing. They would re-educate you into a loyal follower of the Kune. Could I refuse? There's always Kamek, which turns you into a mindless laborer. Like I said, they waste nothing. Oh. If you wish to thank Hawk, 
She's standing right there. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I just wanted to know how your clan was doing. We are doing quite well, considering. It is our hope that one of our sister clans will give us some of their Halla by year's end. Greetings, champion. Did you need something? I'm always amazed by the beauty of the Dalish. If you are trying to initiate something, don't bother. I'm not interested in a Shemlin. Greetings. Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I don't trust this. No one would allow themselves to be cornered in a cave without a plan. He's doing nothing of the sort. He didn't want to endanger us, so he asked us not to get involved. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? Returned. Is there something you need? Do you sell the ink you Dalish use for tattooing? How dare you? That ink is sacred. We would no sooner sell it to Shem than we would sell our own children. So you freed a group of slaves? Would-be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time.
this assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? From the look of these traps, the assassin was definitely expecting company. Watch your step. You, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled uneven leather. <laughs> Isabella, if it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm a champion? Slayer of Canari, Deep Roads Explorer, and a beauty to make the gods jealous. You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I've been hired to find and capture you. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? 
that I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antifa, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I suppose you aren't a murderer at all, then. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but, technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But, you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or, you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I like your list of options. But does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. You didn't tell me the assassin you wanted captured was once one of your own. Ah, uh, so Zevron told you, did he? It really doesn't matter. This time, his warden isn't here to protect him. I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden? I will never guess. Why didn't you go when you had the chance? And risk a beauty such as yours be marred by a crow dagger? Oh, never. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. to loot the camp, yes? Talk to me once. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about Set? Ah, Isabella, I did so miss you. That's because you have piss-poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. Ha! <laughs> Are we sure he was part of a guild of assassins?
Es Dailishiano, ¿no? I only know that it was made by the Dalish. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. Traición. Tricking all the gods away from the world. El lobo terrible. Mm. Cuéntame la historia. What happened to the gods? Long ago there were two clans of gods. The creators look after the people, the forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god was leader, Fan Harrow, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. Así que era un dios guerrero. So this dread wolf was a god of war. Much worse. A trickster. Fan Harrow was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the forgotten ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. Wow. Así que tiene un significado. Imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see, guarding a clan from the dread wolf. It was a keeper's place. I had one of these once. And I gave it back to my Seranus. Por supuesto, ganando rivalidades con Merrill. El maldito espejo, tío, todavía lo tiene aquí. Muy bien. Así que el... El lobo con piel de cordero, ¿no? Por decirlo de alguna manera... El lobo que se paseaba entre los mortales. Bueno, mortales no, entre los dioses, mejor dicho. Muy bien, pues vamos allá. A las misiones que nos interesan. A ver, a ver. Que creo que no nos queda nada más así secundario importante, ¿no? Ya estés nada... Ah, pasando. Las espadas perdidas, la gota que colma el vaso. Hmm. Hay una carta que me está esperando y yo qué coño pasa que no la he leído. De que nada, vamos a revisar. Nada, 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 nada. Uh, oh, espera que una Bueno, pues nada. ¿Pero qué me espera en casa? Pero si Bodan cuando he ido no me ha dicho absolutamente nada. No lo sé. No lo sé, no lo sé. ¿Ven? Están todas... ¿Me las he leído todas? ¿Esto? ¿Leer? Ya, ya me la he leído. A ver, la voy a volver a leer. Fenriel. No sé. 
No lo sé, no lo sé. La tía esa me ha quedado un poco loca. La verdad. Eh, Anders. Vámonos. Vámonos al canal. Hola, Capitán Cullen. It seems you've become less a friend to the Templars in the years since your ascent. But surely you're the only mage in Kirkwall who can approach the Knight Commander directly if you wish. What would you have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander's gone crazy. Are you still behind her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She is not there yet. But I do not have to ask where the rumors come from. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. Mm. Querido Kulem, te das dar cuenta de cuán es, cómo estás de equivocado. Pabellón Templario. Vamos a hablar con la caballera comandante Meredith. Me gustan las pantallas de carga mucho. Muy buenas, señor Templario. <ríe> no me puedo creer que esté aquí, la verdad. Open Sesame. Dios. Hey, Meredith, ¿cómo te va la vida? Me alegro de verte. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Hablame de ese incidente. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape. Presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. ¿Quieres mi ayuda? I am surprised you would turn to me. We haven't always seen eye to eye. I have asked you to track these fugitives so you might see for yourself what we Templars deal with every day. If you still think them worth our mercy, tell me then. Haré lo que pueda. I, can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle at the market. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding and find them before they do harm. You will see that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we can offer. Speak to my assistant Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitive. <gasps> Una tranquila. You good day, champion. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. ¿Tú no eres una tranquila? Has a tranquil assistant. She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in. <laughs> the Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. ¿Hay magia de sangre en esto? Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Alma de Juan. Hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. 
¿Qué sabe Nisa? ¿Es de la alfería? Hábleme de Emil. ¿Le han preguntado? Háblame de la familia. ¿Quién es Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. Vista por última vez en. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. Ferelden. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the first enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent blight survivors. Yo tengo bastante. All the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, champion of Kirkwall. Muy bien. ¿A por qué apostábamos primero? Emil, Avelina o Nisa. Hmm. Bueno, pues creo que lo vamos a ir dejando para el próximo capítulo. Supongo que primero iremos a por el elfo. Iremos a por el elfo en la alfería a ver qué nos cuenta su señora esposa. Pero bueno, ya lo iremos viendo en el próximo capítulo. Espero que os haya gustado este capítulo y nos vemos en el próximo. Chao, chao. Adiós.